You're always so confident in your theories. As confident as I am that you went to Harvard, you recently divorced, and you quit smoking in the last six months. How'd you come up with that? My friend back there, Baker, he called you a Beantown bitch. And from all appearances, you're well-educated. But you took a job in the middle of nowhere with people that look nothing like you. You're stubborn, you have a chip on your shoulder, you don't care if your coworkers like you. A guy like that doesn't go to BU, he goes to Harvard. To show those blue blood assholes what he's capable of, am I right? About going to Harvard? Yes. You're also about 40, which means you did your 20 at Boston PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper Southern suit, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. Means no woman in your life making sure you dress right. Death or divorce, at your age, divorce is a higher probability, but you still wear the ring. By the wear on it, you play with it, obsess over it. Like I said, you're stubborn. Still open to reconcile with the old lady. Her name's Sharon. As for the smoking, when I broke down the three murderers back there, you started to think you had the wrong guy. It stressed you out. The water in your glass moved a bit. We're not on any major fault lines. It means your leg was melting under the table. That combined with the slight aroma of cigarettes in your suit, because it's hard to get out of tweed. And I assume nicotine withdrawal. Those studies show it takes four to six months to fully break a habit. You keep up the good work, though. Those things are killers.